This is Aksa Mahmoud as her parents know her, a loving daughter who massaged her mom's tired feet, a Glasgow teenager who didn't even know which bus to take downtown, much less board a plane by herself. But this is Aksa in Syria, unrecognizable in an all-encompassing niqab with other brides of ISIS fighters. Online, she posts photos of guns and the Quran, urging Muslims to carry out attacks like the bombing in Boston, the British soldier hacked to death on the streets of London. She was uh, the best daughter you could have. And we don't know what happened to her. We thought there was nothing wrong in praying and reading Quran. The last time Muzaffar and Khalida saw their daughter, she had only her university backpack and kissed them goodbye. Four days later, she called from the Turkey border just as she was crossing into Syria. We are a moderate Muslim family and uh, it was a big shock for us. What did she say when you asked her to come home? She, her one message was that uh, I will see you on the Day of Judgment. That must have been very hard for you as a father. It was. I will take you to heaven, I'll hold your hand. That's what she said. I want to become a martyr. So how did this happen? Aksa grew up in an affluent neighborhood, attended a prestigious private school. She loved Harry Potter books and the British band Coldplay. Her family believes that whatever radicalized their daughter happened online. She was a bedroom radical, and if this could happen to Aksa, who had all the life chances, um, the best education that money could buy, a family that were moderate, liberal in their views, freedom, education, love and affection, if this could happen to her, somebody so intelligent, uh, then it could happen to any family. They have refused to do any interviews, but they spoke to CNN to deliver a personal message to Aksa. Aksa, please, my dear daughter, please come back. My dear daughter, please come back. I'm missing you so much. Your brothers and sisters miss you a lot, her mother says. My dearest daughter, in the name of Allah, please come home. I love you. In February, Aksa called for the last time with important news. She was getting married to an ISIS fighter. One of her last blogs.